Hello everyone, my name is Cameron, welcome back to the channel. And today... Why does it say that this is only emergency action, or emergency power? Uh, today we are going to, first things first, head back to the base. So we can, uh, go prep some stuff. God, that gets loud when you turn it up. So, we're going to do a few things today. So, first things first, we're going to get some resource gathering done. Because, guys, I need a lot of it, and I don't have nearly enough resources. So, uh, we're going to head up to the, sh the uh, life pod first, so we can grab out um, the stuff from here first and foremost. We're going to open the storage and grab whatever's in here. We're going to pick up that waterproof locker. We're going to head into the life pod, escape pod, whatever you want to call it. We're going to check what we have in here. Um, so now I don't want to take any of this stuff with me. I want to take the important stuff. So we're just going to toss all of these back in there while we grab this stuff out. And then, um, yeah, and we'll come grab that stuff in a minute. Grab my sea glide and head back to the base. Um, on top of this, we're also gonna do food. We're gonna need some food stuff to go because um, we need it. We the food's been our biggest issue on. I'd, I'd say. Um, how's my generator doing? Okay, my my bioreactor's doing good. That's good. My aquarium looks very nice. Um, we're gonna open. We're gonna just drop a bunch of crap off in here. Not my tools. Not, not my tools. Um, let me drop those in there. But like all this crap is just gonna. Oh, not my first aid kits either. I probably want those. In fact, I probably want to use one of those real quick. Um, I think that's all I need to grab out of there. Okay. So then we need. Most importantly, right now we need some food and some water. My other goal is gonna be try to get most of the materials out of these lockers down here and up to the actual storage containers. Um, because I do want to organize all of my stuff at some point, um, which will probably be started very soon. So organizing all of this into its own specific chests, slash lockers, editing the names, and specifically making sure that they all are named, uh, whatever is going into those things. So I'll probably do minerals in one, gems in another, food and water and stuff like that in another. I don't think there's a fridge unit type thing in this game. Um, I'm going to have to look that one up. I'd have to look that up to find out for sure um so we probably i'll probably do that one of these times um all right i need to find fish to cure something. and i need to find bladder fish to turn into water as well that's my main goal right now find some black i need to find some bladder fish or else i'm fucked i guess i can also just do the thermal knife on the regular fish and get my water to increase a little bit like that that cooked boomerang eat said cooked boomerang not drop it i meant to eat it god damn it eat the cooked boomerang you fucking twit oh i just saw some i saw some bladder fish over here so we're gonna grab them um hopefully we can get a decent amount of fish in this situation right now um like i said i don't know get away from those before they explode on me um, I don't know if there's any sort of refrigeration unit in this, so probably my best bet is just cure all my food as much as possible. Um, just to avoid any of it going bad, because the more it goes bad, the, the harder it is for my guy to survive. Head into the skate pod. Use the fabricator. Make, first things first, water. Water is the most important thing in this game. Um, and I'm surrounded by it, but I can't drink any of that water. <laughs> So it kind of, it's a, it's a bit of an issue. Now, obviously, the cured food does come with one disadvantage. It does make you thirsty faster. Um, but I think it's much more worth it to have to drink a lot more. If you don't have to, you know, deal with your food potentially going bad. So, what can we grab out of here? Can we grab all of this or no? We can grab most of it. 
So we're gonna head back in this, out of the escape pod and we're just gonna use the sea glide to get around for a few minutes because the sea moth, I don't really need to use the battery on that one right now to go back and forth between the two bases. I, I think that's kind of a waste of its battery, of its battery life, so. Um, is this my entrance? Yeah, it is. There we go. I don't know why I went through that one because my chests are up here. That one served me absolutely no fucking purpose. Um, and like I said, we're gonna keep all that on us. This is the battery, a battery charger and a power cell charger. Uh, rubies. Oh yeah, advanced wiring kits. That's why. I, that's why I haven't built those yet. I need the wiring kits and stuff. So I think we have for those. I think we should be able to make them once we uh once we get the chance we should be able to make those as far as i can tell i think we have everything for them um i know we can make the regular wiring kit because that's just silver the advanced one i'm not as sure about so let's grab some silver I'm trying to also find salt and yes i realize i probably could have just done this as like its own thing but i feel like letting you guys in on everything and watch what I'm doing and figuring everything and kind of doing stuff is a much better way of playing this than just doing it all and then updating you guys on what I did. Um, I'd rather you guys get to see what it is I did while I was doing it rather than just, oh, I did this and this and this and this. Um, we're gonna hold on to the rest of that. We're gonna make the wiring kit. So the advanced wiring kit is gold, a computer chip, and wiring kit. And the computer. Okay, yeah, we should be able to make everything we need. I, uh, the only thing I might not be able to make is. Never mind. I was able to make a second wiring kit. Okay. So then I just need copper wire, table coral sample, and some gold. I again should have all of that. God damn! I just dropped it. God damn it! Where did I drop it? No wait, no. I switched the container it was in. Stupid me. I'm already out of water, so I can't actually do anything with that. Um, we should probably just cook the rest of this food real quick. I don't know if I want to do that, actually. I'm just going to leave it for now. I'm not going to touch it. So we need gold. We need table coral samples. I think we need two table coral samples now that I'm remembering. Um, we need some copper for some copper wire. So we can make the copper wire now. I think, like I said, I think we need two table coral samples, so... And we need two gold. Sorry, three gold in total. So, yeah, we need another table coral sample, and we need two more gold as well. I should have everything that I need, though, so... Um, this shouldn't be that big of a deal. So there's the other gold. Well, there's my coral tube samples. <laughs> um... I just remembered I need three gold, not two. Um, shit, do I not have another table coral sample? Uh-oh. We might have to go grab some. Go down this way. Um, uh, going to this locker. Yeah, baby, there it is. Alright, and we're also, I think I just saw some more salt in there. Um, we're also going to the trash can. I'm just doing this with all the waterproof lockers. They're not really useful to me anymore. Now that I have the actual storage in the base and all that jazz. Um, most of those just don't serve any purpose for me. Um, so yeah. Alright, we're gonna go make the computer chip. We're going to make the advanced wiring kit. Um, I don't remember what else the other one needed. We'll come back and grab it afterwards. Um, and then, yeah. Ah, copper wire and titanium. Okay. And you needed also titanium. So two titanium, um, copper wire. So three titanium in total and a copper wire. Um, we might actually have some of that stuff up here. There's my titanium. Or at least two of my titanium. So that one's done. There's the power cell charger, which I have yet to use um, because this is my very first power cell charger. Um, I think downstairs we might have some more... Um, titanium down this way. I hope. Yeah, we do. And two copper as well. So we can just go straight back upstairs. Oh, yeah. I forgot I have a storage chest over here. <laughs> Silly me. Alright. We can go in here. 
Make the copper wire. Always remember what you guys need for your stuff. Always, like, make sure you check what you need. And boom. Now we have another battery charger in the base. We also have a power cell charger in the base. Not that currently anything's using a power cell. It's just so if I need it, I have it. We have an aquarium there. Okay. What else can I make in this game? That's like, I never check this enough to see what I can actually make. Okay. So we can make, obviously we make all the foundations and the pipes and shit and the observatory and the moon pools, which we do have all of this, by the way, for those of you wondering, I believe I actually have everything that, that um, is specified there. Uh, currently in the base. I do have an observatory somewhere, I thought. I thought I had an observatory. I guess I don't. I thought I made one. Okay. Or maybe I was getting ready to make one and then I decided not to. Maybe that's what we should do. Maybe we should start making a, uh, uh, an observatory somewhere. Um, I guess we could just go up. I don't know. This base is kind of weird for an observatory. Like, it feels kind of odd to me just to have that. Oh, that's why we didn't make it. That's right. We couldn't. We couldn't make one. Because we didn't have the supplies for it. So, let's hop into my hatch real quick. I'm back down here. I think we're just literally missing lithium to upgrade the... Yeah. That's what I thought. We're basically just missing lithium for all of these upgrades to reinforce the base and keep it safer. So, if we, um... Oh shit, I want lithium. Fuck me, really? Oh, that sucks. I wanted to get put lithium in here. We can't actually do like wrecks and shit? Holy crap, really? So these little dots here are wrecks. So if you guys don't know, this is the scanner room. It comes with a scan with upgrades first off, and it also comes with its own fabricator for, I think, yeah, making the upgrades. So I think this is the one I want to go for. Um, as well as the speed upgrade. I think I want to make a speed upgrade, two range upgrades, and then the HUD chip. Oh no, two range upgrades and two speed upgrades. So we need two gold and two silver for that. So we're going to do that one real quick, and then we'll figure out what we need for the other one real, uh, right after. So two gold. Oop, I think I just saw some too right before I was about to... Yeah, there's there's one gold. Um, there's another, is that silver? No, it's salt. Okay. That's not bad to have still. It's, it's kind of good to know that's there. Oh, I do have one lithium. Oh, shit. Okay. Let me, um, I need to go finish one of these actually almost then. Should be able to. Yeah. I just need to grab more titanium. Because I didn't think I had, I thought it was more lithium than that for some reason. But hey, we can finish another one of these and increase my hull integrity again. Which I'm never going to complain about. There we go. Now it's 65. Hell yeah. Okay, silver and gold. <laughs> Back on track, guys. Silver and gold. Okay, so we have... Oh yeah, we have the two gold already. What am I doing? We also have a lot of salt deposits, apparently. What the fuck? I forgot about that. So let's, uh, let's get my fish started before it all goes bad. Also, I don't know what those loud noises are outside, guys. Uh, for those of you wondering, I have no idea what those noises are right now. They're scaring the shit out of me, though. I will say that much. There we go. There's two silver, which means we can go and uh, get this first upgrade set done. The only reason we can't do the other one is because we don't have magnetite. Because magnetite is expensive, and I don't have the materials to build it yet fully. Um, so there's two speed upgrades, and for this, we need magnetite as well. So we can't do that one. We also need magnetite for that. So we can't get the hot upgrade just yet, which does suck. But when I go into my inventory, it does explain what that is for right above those. So now, it scans much, much faster, which is nice. Once I get the range upgrade, it will be even better. Uh, let's head out and go get some more... Some more fish from around here. Um, yeah, so what what is the plan for this? Because I, I, I want to kind of talk about that because I know I haven't talked much 
about what the plan for this series has been because I've kind of just been going at it as as best as I can basically I've been going at this one and trying to um oh that's the fish that likes to attack me fuck that get away from me asshole um I've been going at this kind of as as a basic survival game it's not exactly a basic survival game but it, it's close to a basic survival game it's those assholes making the noise god they're so annoying sometimes um, but I have been going at this as basically a basic survival game, and it's not exactly that. It does have a story to it, unlike some survival games where your whole goal is kill things and survive and build a base and such and such. Um, how much salt do I have, actually? Two. And I have four fish. Well, fuck. Whatever. Who cares? We'll grab a decent amount of fish, and then we can try to uh, get more salt in a minute here. Fish, or not who fish, bladder fish I'm at. I just saw another one a second ago. Where the fuck did it, there it is. Um, while I'm out here, if I see any table coral, I should get samples of that. Because, uh, we're like out of table coral samples. And that's kind of problematic. Because they do come in handy. So we're gonna, we're gonna see if we can find any around here. Can I get into this ship? It seems like most of these ships you're able to get in. Oh, I need to breathe. It does seem like most of these types of ships you're able to get into in some way. You just need to find the way in. The sea glide fragment. God damn it. Just hoping for their Cyclops fragments. Uh, well, that's disappointing. Give me lithium, please. God damn it. I mean, copper's nice and all, but lithium would be so much better. Oh, that's that thing. Yeah, that thing's not fun to go into. You gotta, you gotta be careful of that thing. That thing can kill you. I found that out in my first time playing this. I was just kind of swimming around and saw that and went to go swim into it to grab something. And the second I did it, it killed me. <laughs> Pretty much, it was not fun. Oh, table coral, I think, right? Yeah, buddy. Okay, we need some of this. Pick up, pick up. No, come here. Oh, inventory's full. Okay. That's nice to have, though, because, uh, like I said, table coral does come in handy. Um, it's used in a shit ton of recipes, so... Making sure you have some is not a bad idea. Alright, hop up into here, cure some other fish. And that's sadly all we can do for cured fish. We're just going to put the rest into a storage thing. Um, there's a good chance by the time we get back it'll be all uh, dead and not able to be used. But if that happens, it happens. I think the aquarium is what you're supposed to use for the fish. What you're supposed to do is have aquariums to hold your fish in until you can actually cook them or cure them in my case, because I always cure them rather than, than cook just because it lasts longer. Um, but obviously if you don't have the inventory or the uh, aquariums all over, you kind of can't do that. In my case, I don't. I only have the one aquarium. I haven't really wanted to make more than one for any real reason, so uh, we will keep all the cured fish on me though because that's going to come in handy for, you know, eating while I'm out in a boot. So we're going to head up to the ship and we're going to uh, go on our sea moth and uh, I don't know, I've taken off in like every direction in this game, so it's kind of hard to determine exactly which way I actually want to go when I'm doing this now. I think I want to go away from the ship and I want to try to go down further um, and see if I can find I don't know, something I guess. Just kind of go searching and see if I can find any new stuff to grab. Um, materials or anything like that. Have I, have I hit these with my scanner? Yeah, okay. 
I thought so. If if they can even be scanned. I don't know if they can be, but if they can be, I've definitely scanned them already. Alright, so we're gonna head down this way. I've been in here before, uh, a few times actually. Um, there is things here that will kill me, so I have to be really, really careful swimming into here. Uh, piling into here, I should say. It's right over there. That thing will wreck my day. Just gotta be careful and stay away from it as far as long as we can. No, hi, hi there, hi there, sir. You weren't supposed to be over here. Oh, I hit a fish. Is he still following me? No, it looks like he lost interest, which kind of. Like, why did he lose interest? Is there something worse over here than him? Oh, it's back. Oh, you're sick one, too. Stay the fuck away from me, asshole. I don't think I should have hit that. So, we do have a problem. There is one of these data boxes here, and I do want to open it. But with that thing, these things swimming around me, it scares me to do that, especially because my ship is nearly broken. So I think we're just going to dip because I'm not seeing anything I can scan here, which is the problem. That's what I came here for was things to scan. Um, you know, see if I could find any uh, pieces for like the Cyclops or something. But it doesn't look like I'm going to be able to. Like, it doesn't look like there's anything here I can scan. Besides what I've already hit. Besides what I've already gotten. Because I think there was some stuff over here that I was able to scan. Um, the last... Or the first time I came here. Um, I'm nervous as hell. Like, this music's terrifying me, man. Whoa. Oh. Oh, those are heat vents. Oh, those are heat vents. I'm going to not swim on those. I'm gonna not going to go on those. Kill my ship, I'm pretty sure. Um, yeah, I think, like I said, we're just going to... That's a fucking deposit of something. Okay, am I safe up here? Okay, I'm relatively safe up here. If I had my repair tool on my thing, I'd be a lot better right now. I'd be a lot happier. But I didn't because I'm dumb. We're going to uh, fare my ship as it's smoking and very, very uh, close to death. And that's not fun. Um, and then we're going to continue exploring. There we go. So I wanted to, I wanted to s keep my ship safe because I don't want to lose the sea moth because that kind of bites you in the ass if you lose this. Especially down here, I feel like it'd bite me in the ass. Ha ha! There is something down here. Did I already search this? Oh, I already searched this. God damn it. I've already searched that. That's right. I've seen that before, I think. Those are some weird looking peepers. Like, why do they look so blue and red? Normal peepers do not look like that. Oh, fuck, there's a data pad here. Can I get this without this fucking thing killing me? User Paul Torgel requested cross-referencing of local environmental environment scans with ideal habitat constructs and conditions displaying results. Large subterranean cavern with multiple entrances. Conditions support a unique micro... Cosm of predatory life forms, minor structural instability in cave walls, extensive resource deposits, environment safety rating C, optimal habitat safe site safety rating B. Site 7 has been selected as the optimal habitat construction site for the following reasons. Close proximity to one of the cave entrances in case of emergency, medium distance from predatory organisms, stable foundations on which to build, ready access to materials, a single track in the site has been created. Okay. So... Oh. Okay. Can we dip down this way and go there? I think so. That thing just dipped in that, and that scares me. The fact that I just watched it dip into one of those mushroom things. I also just smashed my fucking sea moth off of one. And I also think that that... Yeah, those are the heat vents. These things suck, man. This game is just terrifying when you're in the water for a long period of time. All right, let's, uh, so it's a far distance, but I think that's not that big of, I think that's the least of my worries 
is is how far away from me it is. I think that's the least of my problems. The big part of my problem is getting there without losing my Seamoth. Oh god, or with the, and without having a fucking heart attack from the noises this game is subjecting me to from these creatures. So we do have a few in the way. I don't know if we're actually gonna be able to like explore this area or anything. This is literally the area I was just in a few minutes ago that has that um that box up on it. Looky there, looky looky at this habitati. So we're gonna Okay. We're gonna go in now because I don't wanna die. Whoa. Okay. Um Watch out for the I gotta watch out for the jellies, man. Uh, game? Thank you. I really gotta watch out for those jellies, man. They, they hit, and they hit hard. I think they I think they poisoned me, too, so that's a big problem. Is this literally just what this is? Like, this is it? Seriously? I was expecting something better. Okay, we got- OH SHIT BALLS! Okay. Um. Yeah, fuck you. You cheating fuck. I was inside of something. I was inside of a building and that thing just took me out of it. Holy fucking shit. I love how the game's like, oh, do you want to scan this? I'm like, no! I want to get the fuck away from the piece of shit. Game, can you not hit me off of everything? Jesus. That's magnetite. That is 100% magnetite. Where the fuck did it go? I will scan it later. Oh, of course. Of course there's things over here that can be scanned. Thermal plant, I already have that. Another thermal plant. Stasis rifle, I think I already have that as well. Oh god, is this worth it? No, it really wasn't. Okay, I was literally going into my inventory so I could try to eat and drink water. And that thing attacked me and I did not expect that because I was in a fucking building. Like, I was in this thing still, and it attacked me. I don't think it's supposed to be able to. I think that glitched out a little bit. Because, as you can see, I was covered completely. I also don't see anything inside of this area that I can, cert I can scan or anything like that. Like, it all looks... It all looks like stuff I've already had. Or I've already scanned before, pretty much. Like, the tunnels and stuff like that, so... It's a nice area, like, it definitely looks like it could have been a decent base at one point, but now... Now it's just a wreck. That's magnet. that's pure magnetite. So this is where I have to come for magnetite? Are you fucking joking me? Oh, this game is a fucking riot, man. That's hilarious. This is the place I have to come to get magnetite. Are you fucking serious? Whoa, radiation detected. Okay. Okay. I bet you if I mine that thing right there up, I'm gonna get magnetite out of it. Whoa, okay, okay, sorry ship, Jesus Christ, I didn't mean to hit maximum depth. I have to try this, god damn it. I got gold, fuck me. I was hoping that I'd get magnetite out of that, because it seems like this area is rich on magnetite. So now I'm wondering, can I find more of that shit lying around here? I'm trying to watch out for those assholes. Oh, there's another diamond. Okay. I can't mine any of the magnetite is the worst part. Ooh, magnetite. I'm risking it for this, like, so hard right now just because I need the magnetite for things. Oh, God, this is a fucking bitch, man. Why does the magnetite have to be in this fucking place of all places? No way. That's lithium. I need to repair this again. It's 
Stay away from me. Okay, so that's lithium. So there's lithium and magnetite down here. So the game knows I need two of these resources for things. Lots of things, in fact. And it would put them in this deathly fucking horrible area. I hate you, game. <laughs> like, I really fucking hate you right now. This is some bullshit. Putting things I absolutely 100% desperately need in this hellhole. Oh, God, there's more magnetite. I'm, like, legit wondering, do I risk trying to get this? All right. Uh, I hope you guys enjoyed this episode. I will see you all in the next one. Oh, God. Okay, go, 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 go. Stay golden. Peace.